This video was created by Vinyl Lick Puma of Vinyl Lick Puma Gaming. What's up guys, this is Vinyl Lick Puma and today I'm back with another Is It Worth The Money video on the Fallout 4 Vault Tech Workshop DLC. Now a couple of things before we get into this particular video. Uh, the Vault Tech Workshop DLC actually released a little bit early for me, uh, which was kind of interesting. I was expecting it to release at midnight. But I got it at like 8 o'clock, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, I think a lot of people got it at 8, who knows. Uh, and the other thing is, is that before we get into this video, I'm going to go ahead and disclose my bias and say that I am not somebody that typically likes the uh, settlement system within Fallout 4. So keep that in mind as you watch this video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and we'll get into this review slash impressions. All right, so what is the Vault Tech Workshop DLC? Now, unlike previous Workshop DLCs, which merely contained just like building assets, Vault Tech Workshop comes with an entirely new area with Vault 88, a bunch of new building assets like normal, uh, uh, it's also got new NPCs, uh, new quests, as well as one piece of new unique armor. Now, keep in mind that this new armor has a legendary effect from the base game of Fallout 4. Now, vault -Tec Workshop, in my personal opinion, is what the other Workshop DLCs should have been like. And while I would definitely prefer more campaign slash story oriented DLCs for $5, I would say that you could do a lot worse than vault Tech Workshop. Now, I think a lot of the useful additions have been covered and maybe some leaks or maybe in that live stream that Bethesda did about two weeks back. But I figured I'd go ahead and I'd go over those once again. Obviously, you're getting a bunch of unique vault construction assets. You also get two new reactors that provide 150 and 500 power, respectively. Uh, you get vault tech beds and chairs and furniture that's clean. Uh, you get vault tech decorations, including a vault boy and girl statue. Uh, you get some new guard posts and security desks. You also get a vault tech overseer terminal that allows you to assign settlers to tasks and monitor your settlement population. This same terminal also doubles as a VIP finder, which can be used to locate lost companions. You also get a buildable vault door complete with gear and everything. However, it is less complex as you can't build a standard vault door like the vault door for a vault 111 or like vault 95 or, or even vault 88's door as you walk into vault 88. You also get barbershop and surgery pieces which can be used to change your character's appearance and there's also the quote-unquote experiment side quest items or settlement objects uh, these consist of a power cycle a foropter a soda machine and a slot machine and these appear to be of able to raise your settlers happiness which will prove useful to acquire certain achievements as mentioned earlier vault tech workshop is more sophisticated than previous workshop dlcs in several ways first vault tech workshop adds vault 88 as a new settlement in terms of building space vault 88 is a massive labyrinth i would say it's easily the biggest building area for any settlement in fallout 4 now uh, I would say it's even bigger than Spectacle Island is. Um, second, you get to take part in quests. These quests involve running experiments on your would-be dwellers. To give you an idea of what they're like without spoiling the DLC, think of Sturge's settlement quests at the beginning of the game, and they're sort of like that, although they are slightly more involved, and I think they're a little more humorous. Third, vault Tech Workshop DLC adds new NPCs. The first one you meet is Overseer Barstow, who has become a ghoul since the bombs fell, and you find out that she got trapped in the Vault 88. Um, now, there are also two other settlers that are voice acted as well, um, and there's also an NPC named Clem, who becomes the perfect candidate for experimenting with, and I also found this guy entertaining. There's also a new unique armor piece which you can get after completing all of the experiments, uh, though it's nothing like insanely spectacular or anything. And it's also worth mentioning that you can also equip Vault 88 settlers 
with Vault 88 suits as well as Pip Boys. Uh, this is kind of neat, although I'm not able to tell if this increases a settler's combat prowess. Um, as you can see, Vault Tech Workshop is a more substantial add-on for Fallout 4 than both the Wasteland Workshop and the Contraptions Workshop DLCs were. Now I'm going to go ahead here and just give you guys some of my thoughts here, and that's going to be that the quests in this DLC are pretty entertaining. There's also a slight variation among the different choices you can take to run experiments. Though the one thing I do find somewhat frustrating is that you can't retest or do a different test after you've picked one. For each experiment settlement object, there are three choices. Why can't I do all three to further improve the same item? And like I said earlier, the building space in Vault 88 is absolutely massive. I could see some people getting lost in here, especially when they're first starting the DLC. Now, that said, some of the walls are scrappable, making it possible to get back to the main atrium by simply scrapping either some like limestone or debris covered walls or like cave entryways. Um, I won't spoil it, but I will say that the unique armor piece you get is kind of underwhelming. Uh, I guess it fits within the context of the story, but I would have rather had something much more substantial. Then again, at the same time, if you combine it with similar legendary effect armor pieces, it might actually be pretty good up against certain enemies. Another thing that's worth mentioning is that Vault 88's Prime Directive is tame compared to many other Vault Tech vaults. Uh, when you complete the DLC, you can read the terminal. I'm not going to spoil it here, but what I will say is that it is fairly underwhelming, especially when in the past we've had vaults like Vault 22, which was completely overgrown from New Vegas, or Vault 108 from Fallout 3, which consisted of just clones of the same man. Uh, even Fallout 4's Vault 95 or Vault 75 are both conceptually more interesting than the experiments that you ultimately run in Vault 88. Now, I guess to be fair, the DLC is $5, but I feel like there was so so much more cool and interesting stuff that could have been done here. While I would say that vault Tech Workshop is better than the previous Workshop DLCs, I really think that all three Workshop DLCs could have been originally released as one big Workshop DLC, and that would have made a little bit more sense, I think, uh, especially when you start adding in the manufacturing pieces uh, and some of the vault experiment quests and even some of the cages. Uh, imagine if there were quests revolving around capturing like death claws or super mutants and performing experiments on them. It would have been really cool if there was a quest that where you captured a super mutant and you did some testing on it and you ultimately developed a cure for the FEV virus. And then what you could do is you could cure various clans of super mutants and turn them back into humans and then build settlements around those. That would have been really cool and really interesting. But once again, that would have been possible, I think, if they had combined Wasteland Workshop contraptions and the vault tech workshop dlcs and so for the final question and that is is it worth it for you to buy now i would definitely say it's a better value than either wasteland or contraptions workshop you get a massive new building space as well as some new quests and npcs to interact with even if that particular experience it is kind of short. Now, again, I think this is really what the Workshop DLCs should have been. Uh, they should have added a new building area, some new NPCs, and at least a couple new quests and some new items. Uh, if you got the Season Pass already and you paid $30 for it, I think you're going to be pretty pleased with Vault Tech Workshop. If you paid $50 when they increased the price, I think you're still going to be left waiting for Nuka World. Um, if you don't have the season pass and are thinking about buying it, I'd recommend you wait a bit for the season pass to go down in price. That way you can get this with Wasteland and Contraptions Workshop to get all of the cool features that all of the waste those workshop DLCs add. Overall, I think Bethesda and the team that they set up to work on these workshop DLCs did a much better time this time around with the Vault Tech Workshop DLCs. I like the NP 
NPCs. And overall, I think this is a much better DLC than both the previous workshop DLCs. Anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this particular video. If you like this video, please be sure to leave a like. And as always, take care and I'll see you all next time.